My dad was a small businessman. He had a very small printing plant. And my mother was a full-time mom and homemaker. She was a great seamstress, which she tried to impart to me, which was not successful. Uh, so it was a you very... Did not knit this I didn't know. Unfortunately, I did not. I was pretty much a predictable good girl. I had been a, an enthusiastic but quite inept athlete. I was never very good. I loved theater. I could be in musicals as long as I didn't sing. That was the deal I had with the directors. And I was in student government. I had a, a lot going on. My mother never got to go to college. My father went to Penn State to play football. So they always stressed going to college. I wasn't sure I wanted to go so far away from home. I wasn't sure that I would be smart enough. A lot of the girls that I met seemed to be really well-traveled. I think the best experience was being part of a community where women were the leaders. The president of the student government, the president of the drama society, the president of the choral groups. Everybody was a woman. At a time when the women's movement was just getting underway, it was a, a great lesson that women could do many, many things. I ended up being the president of the college government. After Dr. King's assassination, we had some very profound and powerful conversations about race and about civil rights, the kind of inequality that existed then, unfortunately exists today. It was safe to explore different ideas, even ones that were controversial. We predicted that Hillary would be the first female president of the United States. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's flattering, and it's, it's wonderful that my classmates had confidence in me, but that's not how I saw myself back then. Well, I decided my senior year that I wanted to go to law school, and there were not very many women there. It was mostly young men. And it was a really stark reminder that the next step, whatever that would be, was going to be very different. My first job out of law school was with the Children's Defense Fund. But as First Lady of Arkansas, I had been very active in helping to reform education. When I got to Washington and Bill asked me to do the health care reform effort, I found that the expectations for the First Lady of the United States were very different even in those days from being the First Lady of a state. And it took some real adjustment. And I was quite surprised by it, to be frank. It just wasn't part of the, the rule book for First Ladies. This was just thought to be a, you know, a bridge too far. It was a bruising experience in every way. Because of Wellesley, I was more prepared to take on some of the uh, rough and tumble. There was the foundation for using your talents and trying hard things. And if you get knocked down, get back up. You know, I never thought I would run for office. No, I, I'm gonna you know, do other things. I want to teach, I want to write. This young woman, she leans over and whispers in my ear, dare to compete, Mrs. Clinton, dare to compete. I really had to think hard about it. Was I afraid to compete? Did I really not want to compete? Did I think I couldn't do a good job? And I began going through all the really hard questions. I thought, well, I've never done it before, but I'm going to give it a try. And that's how it started. 